after you've gone through the hurt, after you've gone through the pain, after you've gone through the storm, after you've gone through the rain. You prayed and cried, prayed and cried, prayed and cried, prayed and cried. After you've done all you can, you just stand. Good morning and happy 4th of July and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio. Better than when you heard it yesterday. I'm CJ. Here we go. The bats were swinging in the American League and Major League Baseball as the LA Angels were crushed by the Cleveland Indians 9-5 with a homer from Shelly Duncan. The Minnesota Twins got past the Detroit Tigers 8-6 as three twins homered. The Kansas City Royals lost to the Toronto Blue Jays 6-3 as Adam Lenz homer in the fourth proved to be the deal sealer. The New York Yankees were smothered by the Tampa Bay Rays 7-4 with a homer from Sean Rodriguez while the Texas Rangers were literally sh- Banked and totally embarrassed by the Chicago White Sox 19 to 2. That's right, folks. You heard it correctly. 19 to 2. <laughs> the Boston Red Sox lost by a run 3 to 2 against the Oakland A's as Coco Crisp home run helped in the cause, and the Baltimore Orioles eked out a one run win over the Seattle Mariners 5 to 4 as Robert Andino homered. The WNBA had only one game scheduled last night as the Phoenix Mercury lost by one measly point against the San Antonio Silver Stars 82-81 as Danielle Adams poured in 24 points off the bench. In sporting news, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has rejected the appeals of four players he suspended for their role associated with the league's bounty investigation of the New Orleans Saints. Goodell is still providing the four players, Jonathan Vilma, Anthony Hargrove, Will Smith, and Scott Fujita with the opportunity to have their suspensions reduced if they brought forth new information. In his decision, Goodell stated, quote, you elected not to testify or to make any substantial statement, written or oral, in support of your appeal. You elected not to call a single witness to support your appeal. And you elected not to introduce a single exhibit addressing the merits of your appeal. Instead, your lawyers raised a series of jurisdictional and procedural objections that generally ignored the collective bargaining agreement. Close quote. Instead of making an appearance in the runoff against Allison Felix on Monday night in the 100 meter dash, Jenna Batarma elected to make an appearance on ESPN Sports Center to defend her decision on Tuesday night to not take part in the runoff and stated in part, quote, Although I feel that I won and I got third, I deserve to be on that team. And I feel that they took it away from me. It's okay. When I gave the position to Allison, I gave it to her with open arms. Close quote. For your NBA quick dribbles in a very fluid situation, Orlando Magic star Dwight Howard could be a member of the Brooklyn Nets, according to league sources, in a major trade deal that may involve another team. Free agent guard Jason Terry is closing in on a three-year contract with the Boston Celtics, so this is close to the situation confirmed Tuesday, and the deal is believed to be for the full mid-level exception of $5 million annually. The Toronto Raptors have reached a verbal agreement that the New York Knicks restricted free agent Landry Fields on an offer sheet, according to sources with the knowledge of the deal, worth $20 million for a three-year period. Eric Gordon and the Phoenix Suns have agreed to terms on a maximum salary contract worth $58 million over four years, and his current team, the New Orleans Hornets, according to sources, plan to match that offer. Golden State Warriors have signed first-round pick Harrison Barnes. New York Knicks unrestricted free agent big man Jerry Jeffries confirmed to ESPN New York on Tuesday that he underwent orthokine therapy in Germany in late May to treat his sore right knee, which caused him problems all last season. And finally, the Brooklyn Nets will acquire rugged rebounder Reggie Evans from the Los Angeles Clippers in a sign and trade as the Nets agreed to send a future second rounder to the Clippers in the deal and will use a $3 million trade exception to make the deal work. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my brand new blog site cjsports.com and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter at CJ Sports. And stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God has something special in store for you.